have your grades drop. Make your parents proud. Go to the GOATS website, www.mrmathlean.com. Hey, CBA Integrated Math 3 students. You want to see how things add up in the world? Maybe you want to encourage equality and maybe you just want to make a difference. Just be like one of those math operations. This is a grid view to navigate all of our slides. And Mr. Frank, it's that time. It's time for game plans. Week number seven, February 21st to February 24th, 2023. We are finishing up module two, polynomial and polynomial functions. Our learning goal is students to be able to graph and analyze polynomial functions and perform operations with polynomial expressions in their packets. This is our game plan. Some room 902 news, or that's my classroom news. Sense of urgency here. We're basically done with first semester. Second semester, I only have three more times I need to submit grades. As of February 21st, 2023, we're on the 28th day of the second semester. We are one third done. We have about two thirds left. For the school year, there's only 62 days left. We are two thirds done. We have about one third left for the whole school year. Hey, have you subscribed yet? If we reach 700 subscribers, I will add a drop your lowest quiz score. And also if you attend 80% of the semester, I will add another rule to drop your lowest quiz score. <laughs> Some other room 902 news, just because you turn in work after the due date and after I graded it, I'm not going to grade it. You got to go through late work. I need some late payment. Also, uh, if you don't want to create a commercial or do a reflection, you can also do uh, bathroom passes. Check that out. Uh, there's an explanation in a previous week. Khan Academy is due next Tuesday. If you feel like, you know what, I don't like doing work um, Monday, Tuesday. Well, then this Friday, just have 120 learning minutes by then. Remember, count your learning minutes this way. If you're absent, complete this absent assignment. Thanks for emailing me and reaching out and letting me know. And then I will send this to you. You can just click on here and then you send it back to me. And then I give you that participation point. Don't forget, every every student has to schedule one, only one for this semester, uh, for second semester, I should say, a one-on-one -on -one interview. And basically it's forced office hours, but you can answer these questions. You schedule it through this and then it has a automatic Google calendar and Google meets or video conference link. Dun, 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 dun. Stay away from academic intervention. I reach out to you. I say, hey, you need to improve your grade, blah, blah, blah. Do it. Or uh, we got to get more people involved. Some school, other school news. We had to pass two men days off. Don't worry about that one. You know, you should be doing about an hour a day for math. <laughs> and some of you guys like to spread it out and do four to five hours in one day. That's fine. But um, just think about it if you were at your regular home sites. Hey, do you wish there was some way that someone can just automatically help you um, whenever you needed? Well, check out these online tutorings that we have at CVA. We talked about our essential question. Uh, Monday, this past Monday, no school, President's Day, you're going to watch your week at a glance 7 through Ed Puzzle on February 21st. And then what I want you guys to do is complete any eight questions. You can click on this, any eight questions on there. And then you're going to watch and complete quiz corrections with video solutions. What that basically means is you do it. So here it is. Pick any eight questions. Uh, you can skip question number four. We didn't really do that one. And any eight questions you want. And then quiz correction basically means you double click in the header, watch the video solutions, write the word correct on the side. But if you were wrong, just write a sentence. Incorrect. I was wrong because I had the wrong formula. And then you redo the problem. That's what it means to do quiz corrections. Here are this video solutions. You can jump to any question that you want to see. Okay, Wednesday in class, we're going to take a quiz. We're going to take a quiz. It's going to be a timed quiz, individual. It's meant to be kind of rapid fire, multiple choice. Um, you're not going to be working with your Jamboard partner that day. And we'll do a reflection in class. It's a work day. And then Thursday, I'm going to open up a test. I'll have a link here and also in Cadence called 7.5. 
and basically you have a week to do it. Now, when I say you have a week to do it, I'll tell you, you know, you don't want to just sit there and do nothing for a week. Or a lot of you guys think, oh, deadline. That means I need to hurry and do all the stuff right now. You're kind of already uh, behind, but 7.4 is also due. And the directions will basically tell you to record a certain amount of problems based on your test version. it will say, do a couple of multiple choice questions. You need to record yourself explaining all the work and showing the work. And so you might have to turn in a couple of videos. Friday is a work day. And um, to prepare for that test, I also prepared this for you. It's called a menu of options. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. It's Google Slides, just click on it. It should look like this. It says uh, module two review. And then just skip to the one, this one says Savannah, Savannah, skip to it, go to Cambridge. And I have a couple of options here. There's a practice test where we talked about, creating a formula sheet, I'll have a link on here. Um, by Tuesday morning so you can click on it and copy mine if you want. Uh, basically a formula sheet just has formula steps but no examples, no really numbers on there. And that way it's a quick reference sheet to help you take your test. And then I have two other choices here. You can take an old quiz or last year's test with video solutions. So if you want that, it's not extra credit. It just basically means you want some extra practice before you take the test. Let's take a look at next week. And this is the reason why you kind of want to have your test done by that Friday, even though I'll give you a whole week to do it. Uh, next week, we're going to be working on our Keystone project the whole week. And the reason why we're doing that is because it really relates to what we just learned in module two. And so instead of me giving to in May and then try to reference back, this is just this right there. And so even though your project won't be due by that Friday, I'm giving you the whole week and then I'm going to start stacking on more work. So. If you're the type of person who just likes to do the work right before the due date, um, the dedicated time that we're giving you guys, this is really valuable skills of just kind of learning how to do them on time with time that, that you're given. Red light, yellow light, green light tells you what I've graded. Everything in red has already been graded. In green, this is what you should have done. Uh, finish and uploaded by Friday, 3.30 p.m. And for second semester, your work, you know, a lot of you guys took pictures of it and put them in the Google documents. They weren't great. And sometimes they were out of order. And um, the best thing you can do is just scan it. You can use Adobe Scan. I use Genius Scan or you can use Cam Scanner. Make sure they're in the same direction. And that's all I have for you guys. Be a math operation. Get out there. Make a difference in the world. We'll see you later. Bye. Has math become harder since they added letters? Have your grades drunk? Make your parents proud. Go to the GOATS website, www.mrmathandy.com. You are bringing your love of math.